right? So I watched Fast 10. A few weeks ago at this point. And I am a... Uh, I'm just I, I'm 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 too far in on those movies. It's not that like that I'm the hugest fan of the fast uh, fast movies. It's just that I've seen them all. Not at the movies, you know what I'm saying. I'm not one of those people that just run out to the movies and shit go see that shit. I seen the last one. Uh, I might have seen the last couple. The last I know the last one. The, ah, I know I seen the last one. You know what? I might not have seen that at the movies either. I know I've seen at least two of them at the movies. And taking that as 10 fucking movies, that show you how big a fan I am. I've seen two of those at the movies. Fast 10 being the, the one I know I've seen. And as far as just turning your brain off, which I've which is a term you always hear on every fucking review you watch on that movie. You turn your brain off? <laughs> Even the person that said he don't believe in that term, turning off your brain, you're like, yeah, I can't do it. I can't turn off my brain. He he might not endorse it, but he said it. <laughs> he said it. He might not say, he might not endorse that phrase, but he goddamn said it, goddamn it. So it found its way in there some kind of goddamn way. And I'm sitting and I'm watching a movie and it's a movie. And you you really have to turn off your 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 brain. You know, you can't think about you can't be thinking about this shit in real world, you know, scenarios and shit like that. It's, it don't make fucking sense. The whole movie don't make no fucking sense. And I like the movie a little bit better since I saw it two weeks ago. I like the movie a little bit better now because I watched a I watched a documentary a couple of not even two days ago about Vin Diesel. You know, from him as a little whatever the fuck up until now, just like a life thing. You know what? I like I like the movie a little better now. And that's just on principle. Not anything to do with the movie. It's the fact that Vin Diesel and his horrible acting ass got this shit. Those are his fucking movies. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you just have to applaud the accomplishment. You know what I'm saying? You have to applaud the accomplishment. And when you really think about it and you think about Vin Diesel's body of work, I'm like, oh, okay. If he got this shit going, why would he go to anything else? You know what I'm saying? If you see Ben Diesel in anything these days, it's his. Not many people can say that. It's his. Those are his movies. You know what I'm saying? That and at least one other franchise. Uh, Riddick. Riddick, those are his movies. It didn't start off like that, but it is now. So if you, and there's supposed to be another Riddick movie coming out, but you know what? That is his movie. You know what I'm saying? And even with this shit now, the fast movie, those are his movies. He's the one in charge. So, I mean, you have to applaud the accomplishment. Now you could now I could now I was saying this shit. I was like, man, look, the most shit that Vin Diesel says, the worst, the worst off for the movie. That's basically it. If you could put him in a movie and not have him talk, kind of like the fucking Groot shit, <laughs> even though he he ain't in the movie, he just in the sound booth somewhere saying shit, uh, just saying I am Groot and a bunch of different. Uh, uh, afflictions or uh, inflections. One of those, I don't think it's affliction. I don't think he want to be speaking in inf afflictions. Inflections. I just had this whole goddamn thing a minute ago with provocative and 
prerogative. <laughs> I'm shooting back to back videos, so you gotta, you gotta excuse me. Mm. So yeah, now that don't, uh, that don't change my stance on the movie. It's just that in principle, I like the movie more. The movie itself I almost walked out of. Matter of fact, I don't, I can't, I, it's a bunch of shit happening in that movie, that stupid ass shit with the fucking bowling ball rolling through fucking Rome or whatever the fuck. All that dumb ass shit. Yeah, like, like, this ball just gonna keep rolling. Just, it's just gonna keep rolling, huh? It's gonna bust through shit that should have stopped its momentum, but and somehow it's just gonna keep right on the fuck rolling and keep on rolling and rolling through shit and rolling over shit and just, just gets this bomb, this bowling bomb is just gonna keep right on. It's just. You gotta turn your brain off. Shit ain't, and shit don't make sense. Ain't nothing in this movie gonna make sense because they shit made sense in these movies in quite a long ass time. Even if, even in the second one, because I, I know I saw the first one, but I don't remember it. It's just, it's just like little shit in the second one. Uh, too Fast, Too Furious. I saw that. And I'm like, man. And, you know, that was on the highway, right? And they got the little cars. And they drive the cars on the highway. And this big, you know, 18-wheelers on the highway. And then they had a car drive underneath the trailer. And if you know anything about anything, them trailers don't, I mean, that trailer was made to sit up that high just so that car was uh could you know go underneath it like that no big deal probably not a big deal but if you see it when i live right here on the fucking highway i used to work right here putting lettering on those fucking trucks i know how them shits look so when i'm looking at the movie version made the or the trailer made just so that car be able to scoot underneath it it looks stupid. I'm like, it ain't that much clearance. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just like when I'm watching the, uh, when I'm watching the, uh, uh, like Biker Boys or any kind of motorcycle show, any kind of motorcycle where they doing stunts and motherfuckers is on street bikes. And they got the little, you know, the little pocket rockets, you know what I'm saying? And then they go off road or whatever not. And then most people might not be paying attention to this, but once they go off road, they not on the street bikes no more. They on dirt bikes, but they got little body panels put on the dirt bikes to make it look like, to try to make it look like the fucking street bikes. And they jumping over shit. Now, those, those bikes are designed to take that kind of impact landing, you do that shit on the street bike, the bike is done. I could tell looking at the, I could look at a, a modified dirt bike and a street bike and tell you that they not the fucking same. If you're looking in the movie, you might not be paying attention. But I can see that shit. That's just some stunt shit. You know what I'm saying? It's just, uh, it's just okay, or whatever. It's just like in this movie, uh, right in that middle of that, that Rome shit, where, where they did, where the chick did the little, they did the endo, she did the endo and then flipped the bike over the little railing that she was on, the kid kept the fuck on going, the nice little stunt. Well, that's not, the, if you look, if you pay attention, now I don't know how much they show the motorcycle, that ain't the same bike. That had to be, a, that had to be a motorcycle that that's specifically designed to be able to maneuver like that. It had smaller wheels. You know what I'm saying? If you look at it, just pay attention to the motorcycle. It had smaller wheels. So, you know, you see the stunt. The stunt looked cool, but I'm looking, I'm like, that ain't that ain't the same motorcycle. <laughs> I said, that motorcycle right there was not the motorcycle that's in the rest of this goddamn shit. It's just, it's not. I'm blind as shit, and I saw that. God damn it. But you're not fit to do that on no street bike and you're not fit to do that on no regular dirt bike because they not they not made for that. Try that try that shit on one of them other bikes. Your ass is toast. 
They be laying down. They be laying down on the ground right next to that bike, looking stupid. It happens. Matter of fact, it was a uh, Triple X, uh, fucking Vin Diesel movie. One of uh, one of the people that was doing uh, one of the stunts for him. I think it was on a motorcycle. He died doing that stunt. I'm pretty sure actors could tell you all kind of shit like that about you know stunt men biting the dust or getting verily fucked up doing stunts and shit like that. Cause I think uh, Vin Diesel was doing a bunch of his stunts before they cut that shit out. Then a bunch of that shit, cause he he he, he retarded like that. At least back in the younger his younger part, he was retarded like that. Well. He was physically able to do a bunch of shit, so he would do a bunch of his old stunts. Like if you watch a bunch of the weird shit that happens in uh, in uh, Riddick in the Riddick movies, well, shit, he did that. You know, it's like, huh? Especially, uh, especially uh, the second Riddick movie when he was winding himself on that fucking chain. I'm like. Yeah, he did that. Which is, I'm like, that's that's goddamn impressive. Yeah. Like I said, I watched, well, I knew that a long ass time ago, but when you watch his, if you watch and see that documentary I saw about him, it's just like, yeah, okay. I mean, he got a lot of ambition. He just, just, he really can't act all that well. He has a presence. You know, whatever you got, Make it work. He can't act all that goddamn well, but he has a presence. That gave him the opportunity to be able to do whatever the fuck he is doing now. But, like I said, I was about to walk out the movie. And, and it, was just, it was based just on a bunch of dumb shit. I don't remember what the fuck happened. I think it was right, right, it was right when... I, I, I can't, I can't, it's two weeks ago I watched this movie. I, right before John Cena showed up, Jacob, it was right before he showed up. Cause I mean, I was like grabbing my bag and shit. I'm like, let me get the fuck out of here. And then I think they was in the house. They was, they had, they were sending them folks to get uh whoever the fuck Vin Diesel wife is and this, I don't know. All these women blend together to me. I don't know. Uh, boom! They was breaking into our goddamn house to get her. And in the background, you just you hear like a smash, and you see a dude just through the doorway. You see a dude just fly out, bam, and hit the wall. Who the fuck did? What the fuck? I was like, what? What the fuck? And I was like, well, it can't be, it can't be Dom because he on another part of the world right now. <laughs> And that's when uh, Jacob showed up. I was like, ah, okay. Something happened, that that happened that that was a little bit different. And I was like, okay, let me see where this goes. I ended up watching the rest of the movie, but I'm just like, yeah, let me just see where this goes. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, I didn't see enough dumb shit to where I was just like, man, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even want to finish watching this shit. I, re I really didn't. Uh, I got and I got through the movie. His part of the movie was fun, you know, the Jacob Toretto thing. Him and uh, Lil Brian. I was watching a review where a dude called him Dom Jr. No, motherfucker, his name is Brian. Stupid ass. He is, <laughs> I'm like, if you're gonna do a, a review, a whole goddamn review on a goddamn show where you being a smart ass about the movie, at least get the goddamn character name right. His name is Brian. His name is goddamn son after Brian. No, he didn't. Maybe I'm wrong. You know what? I take it all back. I don't even, now I don't remember. I'm, th I'm probably think I'm probably thinking about some real world shit. No, he named him after Brian. That's right. Fuck out of here. Anyway. <laughs> that's what happened. All this just shit get clouded up in your fucking name. In your fucking head. So that part was fun. Um, the Jason Momoa part of the movie was fun. You know what I'm saying? Those were 
two enjoyable characters in the movie. For me, personally. I think everybody enjoyed the Jason Momoa thing since he was the prime villain of the movie and whatnot. But I think most people enjoyed that. If you didn't, well, you, you probably would have walked out on the movie like I was starting to do. And, and hell, everybody, it's just like I'm watching a movie and I'm just like, I'm getting Joker vibes all over the fucking place. And, you know, once you start watching, watching reviews and then you hear the same thing. Joker vibes, Joker vibes, Joker vibes. You know, if if somebody wasn't saying he was like the Joker, they would the the Joker name popped up. You know what I'm saying? He said it, it's not quite Joker, but it's but you said Joker. That's close enough. That's you know, it's, you got this fucking maniac, crazy motherfucker. Yeah, Joker. Yeah, okay. Motherfucker just kill motherfuckers. He just don't give a shit. Yeah, that's that's Joker. Joker gives no shits. <laughs> Joker gives no shits. And the motherfucking is the uh, fucking I, I am not gonna be able to think of his fucking name. I just I just got through watching the review on I am not gonna be able to think of his fucking name. But whatever, I'm just gonna call him fucking Momoa, goddammit. <laughs> I don't want I hate when I have to call people by the act name. It's not even a fuck Dante. Dante. <laughs> that shit just popped out my mouth. I didn't even think about it. It just Dante just came out like somebody else did. Yeah, Dante. That that motherfucker is a fucking Looney Tune, and you have to appreciate that performance. I don't give a damn if you like it. You have to appreciate that performance. That's what you want to see out of people like that. You know what I'm saying? Somebody that could easily get typecast that you, you know, to playing a certain kind of characters because he looked a certain way. Because, I mean, just him by his, himself, Jason, he looked like a rugged ass motherfucker. He would, nah, he got them playing some fruity ass, crazy ass, uh, Joker esque fucking villain that. From what I heard, a couple, at least a couple times, supposed to be gay. If if it is, I mean, they didn't put none of that shit in the movie. You know what I'm saying? He might have been, but I've heard that twice. That his character, that character, is supposed to have been gay, and I'm just like, I know he weird, but I ain't, I didn't see no gay shit. Which, whatever, that don't even don't even matter. It ain't like they they showed him kissing some other dude. If they did, I didn't pay no attention to it. Yeah. Just thinking about it. Just like, <laughs> anyway. <laughs> uh, you get through the movie and there's so many people in this goddamn movie that people be throwing out fucking uh actor names and shit like that. I don't know who the fuck. You know, I, I, I don't follow actors like that. I don't. I just, I don't, I don't follow actors like that. Either. Hell, they was like, yeah, Brie Lawson. I was like, Brie Lawson in this movie? I've seen plenty of her as Captain Marvel and not, not, nothing else that I recognize. I don't, I, you know, I didn't know Brie Lawson before Captain Marvel. I, did, I didn't know her before then. I don't know her afterwards. She was in this movie. I'm looking at the movie. They was like, yeah, this is uh, Brie Lawson's character, blah, blah, blah. I was like, huh. This look like some white chick to me. Which, I mean, which is, I, I, I'm not being mean or nothing, but she's fairly typical. You know what I'm saying? She just, I mean, she's fairly typical. It's just like, just like some white chick. There's, there's nothing unique about her that would put her out there you know to me at least you know what I'm saying she ain't like uh, Char uh, Charlize Theron is in this movie but shit I've seen her face so much over the that woman gotta be about 75 years old that woman been in shit as far as back as I can remember I'm fucking 47 she been, she been in shit as far back as I can remember maybe the first thing I can remember her being it was like Aeon Flux or some shit like that way back in the day that shit is old. Hey, on Flux, y'all remember that? <laughs> yeah, it's just, you know. And then you see her facing so much other shit. 
So when you see it, but uh, Brie Lawson ain't got that kind of legs. She's she's a young actress. You know what I'm saying? So it's a bunch of people I recognize this that's older. I'm like, I know who that is. I know who that is. But Brie Lawson, I don't know. She show up in a Captain uh, Captain Marvel uniform. I, yeah, that's Brie Lawson. Man. I don't know. Hell, even uh, at the end of the movie, the fucking Gal Gadot showed up. I couldn't see that. You know, I couldn't see that. It wasn't until I was at home watching reviews that I was like, Gal Gadot. And it was like, of course, yeah. I was like, she was in the other movies? I, I, I'll show you, I, I, like I said, I've seen all these movies, but I ain't like I just be all into them like that. I don't remember seeing Gal Gadot and shit. But then again, who the fuck is remembering all of this shit? Which movie? Was she supposed to be dead because motherfuckers was talking about motherfuckers being brought back and thought they was dead and all kind of shit. And I'm thinking her character was one of them. I don't even remember. You know. If I did, it was pre-Wonder Woman. Which I'm pretty sure it was. If I watched the Fast and Furious movie, like I said, I didn't see all of these in the movie. If I'd have seen, if I'd have saw Gal Gadot in a Fast and Furious movie after I'd seen the, the the Wonder Woman after she was like Cassie's Wonder Woman, I would have recognized her. There's something about her that's distinct from what you would see in anybody else. She has her own look. We lost and just looked like a regular ass white chick. You know? It just, you know, it's just like if you see Viola Davis. <laughs> Viola Davis got her own goddamn look. You know what I'm saying? She don't look like just every old other black chick. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if you just seen her in a little bit of something or a lot of something. That's Viola Davis. She looked like fucking Viola Davis. If you see somebody that looked like her, it's probably a cousin or a sister or some shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She looked like one of the people that, that if you look at her, her family photos, it's a whole bunch of people that look like that. It's kind of like me. That's how my family is. If you look at the men in my family, at least my generation, at least me, because I take that back, me and the generation uh, on top of me, this is what we look like. It's funny as hell. I can show you a picture of me and my uncle and my dad, and you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> to a lesser extent, my grandfather, but me, dark skin. It's weird. <laughs> I ain't making fun of nobody. I'm just making a fucking point. It's just, I wouldn't recognize them people. It's just like, uh, I was watching this uh, review earlier, and they started bringing up some race shit and all kind of stuff about all these different races and all kind of stuff in the movie and blah blah blah, and I, and I'm like, don't, it don't make sense because they started talking about how, you know, the the two just the the two black people in the movie got set off to the side, you know, Ludacris and uh, Tyrese got set off to the side to do some comedy shit. They got relegated to the comedy group and blah 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 and all this is just. That ain't got shit to do with nothing, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't, it don't, it ain't got shit to do with shit. Those two have been feeding off each other for, I don't know. Now, if the, right, the writing sucks, yeah, it's a fucking Vin Diesel movie. All the writing in all this movie suck if he a main role in it. You know, if it's decent, that mean he ain't have nothing to do with the input of this movie. He just had to do what people tell him. If he had any goddamn input, it's shallow. And if you watch any of uh, Vin Diesel movies, it is painfully obvious that the writing, all his movies are shallow. Let me just put it like that. It's not a, it's not it's not an adept to it. Just like this, the fast movies, it's not it's like the same shit over and over again. That's how you say he don't hardly have no meaningful uh, dialogue. He keeps saying it's like it's like he don't fucking repeat. Just keep saying the same shit over and over again. 
I mean, he ain't got to remember no script. He could just come up on the screen and do whatever he going to do right off the top of his head when he comes to these moves. You know, it ain't no fucking script. You know, you know, it's just a... But somebody was bringing up race and stuff like that, and I'm just like, that might have been the whole point. You know what I'm saying? They were talking about the, the kid, the movie don't look don't look like it. The fuck sense did that make? You know what I'm saying? Really? What fucking sense do that make? How many times you look at a parent, a, uh, a couple of parents in a movie, then look at the kid and be like, yeah, that kid looked like them. It ain't that kid and those two people didn't make it. Of course it don't look like them. You look at Vin Diesel's wife, look at him and then look at that little boy. They don't look like them. No shit. They cast a the little kid to play that fucking role. You know, Vin Diesel is the muddiest of mutts. You know what I'm saying? He's the muttiest of mutts. That's why he look how he look. The way the world going right now, we gonna all look like Vin Diesel in about 100 years. Or 200 years. That's how we gonna look. We gonna all look like fucking Vin Diesel. We not gonna look like Barack Obama. We not gonna look like Halle Berry. We gonna look like Vin goddamn Diesel. With varying degrees of how what kind of hair we got. That's what the fuck we gonna look like. That man is mixed with everything. Like I said, I just I just so happened to watch a documentary on him. And they 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 list off, they just listed off his mother. I don't think he knew his dad, but he said his dad was definitely a person of color. But his on his mama's side, that man had a it's, it's a list of shit from way over there on the other side of the goddamn Pacific. <laughs> Not Pacific, but the well, I guess it's a, it's Pacific if you go far enough. Uh, but on the other side of the fucking uh, what's that? The other the Atlantic. You know what I'm saying? You go on the other side of the Atlantic. It just it was like a poof. Like, how do you even do that? And if you look at a picture of his mom and shit like that, you like, okay, she ain't white. You mix with a whole bunch of other stuff. You look at him and his brother. Now they said twin brother, but I'm like, you know, I know you can have fraternal twins. You know, you, you ain't exactly, you're not identical, but they said twin brother. I'm looking at them too, and I'm just like, I, I don't see it. But I guess that, I mean, when you say fraternal, I guess that's just what the fuck it means that they not identical, but they don't look shit alike. I mean, they don't. They don't look nothing alike. You take Vin Diesel and you put him next to his brother. You would. They, they just look like two motherfuckers that just happen to walk up and shake hands in the street. You know, they just <laughs> nothing, nothing at all. But I mean, if you if you look at their goddamn family, it's just that, that's it's them. You know what I'm saying? That, that and I get and. I, I think um, Vin Diesel embraces that. He has a company called One Race. You know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking, you know, you just you kind of put two and two together. One of his companies he got is is named One Race. And you go, you start thinking about his heritage, and you know, you think about these movies, and it's always it's big fucking melting pot <laughs> you making doing a commentary on this shit I'm like well what, what's the problem he got he got he got everybody covered he got white people Mexicans Asians black folks you know what I'm saying he got what uh he, the South Pacific <laughs> you know what I'm saying you look at his movies everybody's in it everybody's in it even uh you the English motherfucker. You get it's, and even when you think about the movies themselves, they shot all over the goddamn place. I don't know if they actually. I don't know how what kind of location shoot, but they all over the got uh, the just the movie themselves are just inclusive as hell. That make me like the movie even more now, or the the series. I still think what I think about the movies themselves, but the concept that I'm coming off the top of my head, 
and just thinking about what's going on now. Now, every, I get sick of the whole family shit. I do. I get sick of the whole family shit. But look at it. Everyone, they sitting at the table. You know? Nobody at that table look alike. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody at that table look alike. That's the fucking point. That's the whole goddamn point. And that's not some shit I was thinking about. That's some shit that I just came up with. This whole little diatribe. That just, that's right off the top of my fucking head. Just think about shit. Just right now. Just putting it, putting it together as I go. It's the whole fucking point. And just thinking about that, I'll be like, I don't, I'll, that's, that enough is enough for me to just buy a movie ticket. Movie ticket ain't cost me nothing, but like six bucks. So, you know, I would not have nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I would not have nothing. Or was it 10? It was six. It was six dollars. I, I go to the movie the first show and then the movie. Yeah, so, you know. But just the concept of it, you know. Now, the stupid shit in the movie, I'm still like, if I go sit down to try to watch the movie, I'm still going to be like, Woo! You know what I'm saying? I'm like, cars don't work like that. Don't nothing in the world work like that. People don't work like that. What the fuck, man? And I had that one, that one review that I watched. Uh... Uh, that one review that I watched, <laughs> you know, I like when I do when I watch a movie and, I, and people pick out the same shit I do. That dude was like, well, well, uh, at the, towards the end of the movie, they was on a bridge or whatever the fuck they was on. I don't know. It was before the final little thing. Uh, Vin Diesel fucking one head deadlift pick up a car. Like, I was literally in the movie like, no. No! I was. Vin Diesel had a gun in one hand, I'm thinking. He reached down, deadlift style. One hand picked up and flipped over the fucking car. What in all the fucks is going on? You know what I'm saying? What is going on? That man just lifted, flipped the car with one goddamn hand. Well, you say one hand, but like I said, it was like a deadlift thing where he just like, all right. No. No. Fucking no. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm still like, no. That's, 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 that beat out him out over steering the fucking helicopters when they had him. Uh, when they had his car hooked up on the highway, I'm like, okay, you got these two helicopters. They got his car last on some kind of goddamn way, and he driving. You know, he driving the the fucking car. The, the helicopters pick his fucking car up. His rear wheels are off the goddamn ground. He's steady, steering this shit. You have no agency in that situation. You can't drive either goddamn direction. Your, your drive wheels are off the fucking ground, man. What the fuck? How are you doing this shit now? I'm, your, your, shit, your car is moving. The front end is down. I'm pretty sure you can steer some shit like that. But I'm like, this is dumb. Because they still, even with that shit going on, they got them stepping on the gas and all kind of shit like that. Dude, your car is like this. You know, how many of y'all then then hit hit like a speed bump too hard or hit a curb and fucked up your rotor? Or if you or for God forbid you got a fucking front wheel drive and you hit a goddamn bump or a curve or some shit like that, and all kind of your front end get all kind of fucked up. You know. I'm like, that's just from some shit, you hitting some shit on the goddamn ground or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I ran over something on the freeway that, that bounced and hit the bottom of my car and pushed my fucking water pump back into my fucking engine. I was in a BMW. Boom. 
car was done. It took a couple of days, but it was done because the car couldn't cool because the water pump had fucked up and, and, and bent the fucking frame. All kind of stupid ass shit. Just from a little object that was in the road that, that went underneath my car, bloop, and that was it. This bad car is like bouncing, dropping out of shit, hit the ground. Your car is done. Move it over with. You know what I'm saying? Cars cannot take that kind of goddamn impact. They don't. They don't. Your car hit the ground like that. Everything underneath the hood and attaching, and, you know, the drive train, transmission, all that shit falling apart. fucking part. It's all falling apart. You can't drop a car like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> it it would not fucking work. Cars are uh, very durable or whatnot, but they're a lot more fragile than you might goddamn think. You run into a, <laughs> you run into some shit, and then all of a sudden something in your car. Hell, my uh my Camaro I had, I came down off a curb. I was coming out of Chicken House, and you know how you come out of driveway out of driveway into the street or uh, parking lot into the street, and they had a little dip. And sometimes the, the back of your car will go, it'll scrape. I did that shit one time, and that's all it was. And then he kept on going. Little did I know that I was going to have to junk that car a couple of years later. <laughs> because whatever that little, that little scratch that I heard, that I've heard many times before, knocked something loose in the gas tank. The fuel pump, fuel meter, fuel, whatever. Knock something loose. Don't could nobody ever fucking figure it out. Car, no more good. All I did was uh, just a little scratch. This motherfucker calls it BAM! Boom! Block just smashing all over the goddamn place and they mm, they steady driving. I'm like, no, no. Uh, I, I done had plenty of cars and I done drove on these fucking Houston streets and highways long enough to know that shit ain't happening. Don't give it that. What kind of goddamn car you got? You would literally need that goddamn Batmobile. That, not even the Batmobile. You need that Tumbler from the fucking uh, Dark Knight series. You need that. <laughs> you need that motherfucker. Let that motherfucker bounce around the town. Shit. Okay, it looked like it's supposed to do that. This motherfucking uh, Barracuda or whatever the fuck he been driving. How the fuck he even get? Do we have every one of the? Do we have one of those cars in every country in the fucking world? Because that's the other thing. The logistics of this movie make no sense. This man is all over the place. But everywhere he go, it's a car there. This man has a... He, he has the same... He, he got the big super, super muscle car just stashed everywhere. South America, Europe, Asia somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Just like... He just he just had it. Wherever he gotta go, he got that car there. I don't I don't see that because I, I you he have to have a factory to just make them fucking cars. Because if you going around, you can't say that he going around buying them cars because those cars are not available like that. Now some shit like the other, everybody else be driving, yeah. Especially Roman impractical ass. He always doing the most impractical ass shit. He driving around. Everybody else got some shit that makes sense. This motherfucker in a goddamn Ferrari. A Lamborghini or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know them fast ass cars no more. Yeah, he in a goddamn uh, Lamborghini or some shit. Just like it was in the other movie. When it was out on the ice, everybody else got a car that looked like it's some kind of off-road made, whatever the fuck. This motherfucker is out on the ice in the goddamn front. How the hell do you even get that car up there? You have to watch that movie. I'm pretty sure they had the uh, car stash some goddamn way. But like, for real, the clearance on them cars is about this goddamn much. If you ain't on the road, you ain't going no goddamn well. You can't hardly go over goddamn speed bump in them cars. You can't pull up in nowhere over here because it's always an incline or a decline coming in and out of anywhere. That means the front or the back end of your car is getting scratched the fuck up. I had a Camaro and my car was getting scratched the fuck up. Just going in and out of uh, driveways and parking lots. It's frustrating as hell. And you in a goddamn Lamborghini? Your car got to stay on the streets and you can't go nowhere all around here with all these speed bumps on the goddamn street. You be mad as fuck. You be, <laughs> you be trying to sue the goddamn city.
Yeah. But I was watching uh, the review, and then people started bringing up kill count. Why? Why are you bringing up a fucking kill count? It's the same thing with all the other uh, comic book movies and shit like that. Because at this point, Fast is a comic book movie. Just throw it in that category so you cannot go through this whole thing about shit not making sense. You know what I'm saying? Just it's a comic book movie. Just just throw it in there. I'm pre it might be some fast comic books out there. Now I'm thinking about it. I don't know, but it might be. So technically, it could be true. I'm pretty sure there's some comic book movie out there somewhere. I mean, a comic book out there about it. But yeah, why bring it up a fucking kill count? Yeah, man, those people are gonna be dead. Those people are dead. And then they brought up this whole thing where that big stupid ball rolled and it broke this bus in half, but it ain't nobody in the goddamn bus. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everybody's either in the front of the bus or the back of the bus. Yeah, it ain't nobody in the middle, because if that would have happened, it would have been bodies just smeared all across the street. These people are dead, those people are dead. Ah. And then, and then it was like, yeah, they, they talk about little, little Dom, little Brian, was, uh, you know, when, I, I guess, I don't know. He, did he shoot the rockets out the back of the car and blew the cars up? Well, he, he, they got him killing people now, blah, 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 you know, it's murder, murder this, murder that, and all the rest of the comic book movies. Ah, this is murder, murder, murder. You do know this is make-believe, right? You do know this. All those people that you talk about don't, Fucking exist. Can't murder what don't exist. It's a fucking movie. It's not a snuff film where people are out here getting killed and murdered for real. It's a fucking movie. Ain't nothing to this shit happening for real. It's all make believe. Nobody's dead. Nobody got murdered. There's no kill count. I wish people would shut the fuck up about that shit. You know, and all this destruction and all this time and tearing up the city. What? It's a fake fucking city on the it's not even real that most of the it's just an effect on the screen. It ain't like a bunch of it ain't it ain't like they had to build this whole fucking city then blow it the fuck up. Like they probably used to do with practical effects not too long ago. But <laughs> It's some fake ass shit that they, they, they typed up on the fucking screen. You see Superman and Zod flying through the building and blah, 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 blah. Ah, they tied up the fucking city. Why? Well, this don't make no sense. This is all. Oh my God. You don't watch the news, do you? You do not need to watch the fucking news. Do not put news break on your phone. You will fucking kill yourself. You will fucking kill yourself. If the, if shit that if make believe shit that's happening in the movie is getting to you like that, this real world shit must be horrible, horrible. Because if you go down news break and just start looking at the shit that didn't happen within the last couple days, oh man, you gonna woo? It's a reason why I just swipe past that shit on my phone. I get the alerts, you know. I keep it on my phone for practical uses. But shit, when the sun pop up, I just, yeah, you surrounded by pedophiles and murderers. Active pedophiles and murderers. And a whole bunch of other people that you won't like. So, you stop worried about what's going on in these movies because that shit ain't real. Now, some of the people that make the movies is bad, but <laughs> the movies themselves, you got other shit to worry about other than worry about how many fake people died that, that wasn't living to start with. Why? <laughs> Why are people like this? I don't know, man. They brought that up in the review, and I was just like, get the fuck out of here. You moron. I was literally, I, I do that every time I watch a review, I say somebody's a moron. But yeah, I'm thinking, I'm like, you fucking moron. You bring that shit up, that's just another talking point. But I'm like, none of this is real, dude. You know, none of it is real. You gotta bring up, you know, it just, they got to the point to where, you know, in the superhero movies, they always gotta make it a point to let 
us know that the fake environment that they fighting in don't have any people. Just like in Batman v Superman. That little area that they, that little island that they was fighting on, they had to make, they made sure to mention that it was uninhabited. And what, uh, Civil War. They had to make sure they mentioned to us that the goddamn airport was empty or abandoned or whatever the fuck it was. So the little fighting they was going to do in there, ain't nobody going to get hurt. Ain't nobody going to... Ain't nobody going to get hurt because there ain't nobody there. It's all fucking fake shit. The only people getting hurt is stuck there doing this shit just so we can fucking watch. Man. People may be sick sometime, man. They do. They do, man. Ooh. I'm actually getting angry thinking about this shit. I am. Let me get back to Fast X, man. What else did I not talk about? There was nothing else for me to... Yeah, it really ain't much else for me to talk about because, like I say, the only thing I can do is just recap the same old stupid-ass stunts that don't make no fucking sense. Like him just popping the wheel in, jumping over the edge of that dam on the way down. I'm just like, that's, that's not how cars work him driving you know, straight down, you know, that shit, I'm just, that's, 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 that's pretty much how gravity works, but physics, physics is not going to keep you, you know, gravity will pull you down, but you would not be on that fucking, your, your car would be doing this shit right here on the way down, you dead, you dead, you know what I'm saying, it's just as soon, if you was able to just pop a wheelie in that car like that and drive over that thing, Momentum would have took your ass that way, not that way. You know what I'm saying? You wouldn't have did this. and <laughs> No, you wouldn't have did this shit right here. You would have just went, eh, and then you would have went down, and then you just, you would have been just a puddle of blip. Not to mention, you know, you bring up the shit about the villain. You know what I'm saying? Which, you know, Dante, which is fine. He's a good villain. You know, entertaining. You got to figure out how the fuck did he get this reach? You know what I'm saying? It don't really make sense. But like everything else in this movie, you can't try to make it make sense. They're like, how can that dude have his fingers everywhere all at once to be able to have all this shit happen the way it does you know you have to be fucking not even Joker you have to be like fucking Lex Luthor or something you know what I'm saying to be able to just have all that shit just at the at the ready like that just you know you'd have to be some Lex Luthor level type of shit. And not the movie Lex Luthor either. No, not that bullshit. I'm talking about cartoon Luthor, like the smartest motherfucker in DC. Yes, he's smarter than Batman. He's just, you know, he got, he's just uh, ego. He's richer than Batman too. If y'all don't, <laughs> if you don't believe me, I don't care. I'm not that invested in comics, but yeah. Lex, Lex is, is a Lex is a motherfucker. Uh, but yeah, like I say, uh, after it, the the movie is passable to me. It is. It's passable. I ain't gonna say I love it. I ain't gonna say it. And the only reason, the only reason I will actively go see the next movie or movies that come out. It's because of this shit I went through earlier about, you know, the inclusivity of everything in the movies. It's not it's the only it's the only reason I would actually go pay. Because it seems like uh putting together this movie, there's an effort in inclusivity and all this other shit. That's why, you know, that's why I'm like it if if Dante was supposed to be a gay character, which you know, I mean, if you look at his hair or look at something, but there's no overtly 
you know, uh, stereotypical homosexual uh, my vocabulary ain't working right now you know, there's none of that just tacked on to him like I say and what is tacked on to him if it was could be just uh, could be just um uh, God damn it, my, my vocabulary would just turned the fuck off. You know, that could be just pertaining to his uh, his sanity or him being mentally not right. You know what I'm saying? Him just being weird. You wouldn't really be take none of that and be like, oh, that's some gay shit. I say gay shit too much, but I like saying gay shit. Well, that, that didn't come off right at all, and I did. Anyway. <laughs> It damn sure did come off right. You just stop right there. Yeah, but even if it was, there's in, there's an inclusive part to that, and it wasn't. If it is, it ain't just thrown in your fucking face. Like I would appreciate, not like that stupid ass uh, knock at the cabin bullshit that I watched the other day. Fuck that movie. This here. The movie itself is dumb. Now, and I'm just making this up. All this is headcanon. I don't know if this is true or not. But like I say, the only reason I would go and pay to watch these movies is because it seems that I, I, I think I see a, a, a theme with everybody being involved. You know what I'm saying? Everybody being involved. When it comes to that whole family thing. Not in the movie itself, which is, it has its aspects in the movie, but the making of the movie itself. You know what I'm saying? Like you see all these people that's, all these characters that have been around for so long in this, in this franchise, and I'm thinking that that's how it's supposed to be. If people start dying off in the movie, I'm thinking that that would be the end of this franchise. You know what I'm saying? If Paul Walker was still alive, he'd still be in it. You know what I'm saying? He'd still be in it. Um, and that's why you. That's why fucking uh, Tyrese still fucking in it. You know, uh, fucking. Uh, they've been there since what the second movie. The only people that've been there. For, I don't know. I don't remember who was in the first movie. Let me just shut up. But from the second, you know, those two, those guys been there since the second movie. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's going on 10. So, yeah, I'm like, shit. And that's the theme. I think they kept through this whole thing. Well, Vin, Vin this was like, he going he to keep this circle of folks. And you'll bring people in to uh, complement the cast you know what I'm saying as needed like per movie you can't have the same people doing the same shit every movie even though that's what they do but the villain you know you bring in The Rock you bring in Jason Statham you know what I'm saying to bring some spice into it you know they start off as bad guys blah 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 you know bring some spice to the movie uh, then what you done John Cena was a fucking villain. Pretty good villain. You know. You know, like I say, the movies are always kind of dumb, but there's always that that outside presence that they bring in. And as you can tell, shit, they bring the motherfuckers in, they stay. For the most part, unless they die. I don't remember anybody really dying, but shit. I, I would be surprised to see Bow Wow show up in the next couple. Like, for real. Did that other dude was the other guy in one? I thought I seen him in the last one. The uh the the guy uh from the uh third one, Tokyo Drift. That funny talking motherfucker. <laughs> I thought I saw him in the last in, in uh in nine. I thought I did. He was one of the people that was helping uh it might not be him, but it, it kinda looked like him. It might have been. I don't ever go check the shit.
But I was like, is that the dude from the second, from the th third one, the main character from the third one? Was that him? You're the one that wants to help them go off into space. I mean, you probably that's not a part of the movie you really want to be a part of. But yeah, I mean, I, I thought that was him. So at the end of the day, I mean, sh I would, I would, I uh, damn, Bow Wow wasn't doing no driving. I don't think, but I wouldn't. If I, I man, if I was Bow Wow, I'd be calling man that you do the cameo or something. Matter of fact, somebody he was a part of a meme. I don't know how old that meme was, where they had Bow Wow was walking. Uh, he was walking with a hoodie on. He was walking with a hoodie on. And he was walking into his phone, but he was walking in a crowd of people. And he was like, <laughs> they don't know that it's me. Blah, 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 blah. I, I forgot what the meme says, but it's like, those people don't care. <laughs> Even if they knew it was you, they don't give no shits about you. It was, it was something about him still thinking he was relevant or some shit like that. And I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't think Bow Wow can just go off into no random ass group of people. Depending on the age, you know, people my age and they forties and shit, we gon we gon look and be like, hey, that's Bow Wow, but it ain't gonna be like, ah, it's Bow Wow, it's Bow Wow, woo! I can't even think of no songs he song, but woo, it's Bow Wow. No, it ain't gonna be none of that. It's gonna be like, hey, look, that's Bow Wow, man. And he gonna go back to doing what the fuck he was doing. <laughs> that's it. This motherfucker, like he was, he was geeking. Geek, geek, geek. They don't know that it's me. All those people about half your age, they give no shit. They don't know what a bow wow is, man. They don't. They probably know a bow wow, but it ain't you. It's some other anime shit somewhere. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You, know, you say bow wow, you thinking about yourself. They, they thinking about some little fucking cartoon dog somewhere. That was funny though. It was kind of mean, but it was funny. What was I talking about, goddamn? Oh, the cameo. Yeah, he, you know, by keeping the keeping this shit together. And like I say, it just, I like that. I like it. You know, I like it. I like what I like. You know, I'm just coughing this shit right just out my head right now. I don't know if that's what they're doing, but it seemed like that's what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm, I'm on board with that. I'm not excited about the movies, but they're entertaining enough. It's worth a watch. You know what I'm saying? If 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 what I'm imagining is what actually is going on, fuck it, here, he goes $7. You know what I'm saying? You come up with another book, here, he goes another $7. You gonna get some more of my money anyway because I got fucking HBO, but you know, whatever. I think that shit, it's stream on something else too. I, I, you know, they get a little bit of money from that shit. I'm like, shit, yeah, you know, whatever. Do you do? Have your fun. Make your money. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't think any of those, matter of fact, when you think about it, ain't none of those people hungry for shit. You know what I'm saying? Ain't none of those people hungry for shit. I don't know what Ludacris doing. You know what I'm saying? But I'm pretty sure he's still doing music to some degree. He might be a behind the scenes guy where he ain't gotta be out there performing. Most music guys have some kind of studio or production company that's that's always working. You know what I'm saying? It's always working. Tyrese is in shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what he's doing musical wise, but I know he actively acting shit. He was in Morbius, which was something to do. Cause he ain't do shit in that movie. That was a waste. I mean, I mean, if he got paid for it, it was a job. But I mean, as far as just an appearance, he didn't do shit in that movie. A bunch of, well, if he did have something to do in that movie, he probably got, they probably got cut or whatnot. Cause I think in that movie, in Morbius, he's supposed to have been like this detective with this uh, bionic hand or, or some shit. Not no super guy, but you know, he had, supposedly had like a bionic hand. At least his character in the comics. You know what I'm saying? But, but, you know, he's actively doing shit. Anybody else? Is, I'm just like, who? I mean, they, they really wouldn't have to. They make these movies every, you know, like clockwork. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They make these movies like clockwork. I don't know what they get paid for these things, but they don't get no more regular work than that. And they got at least one, maybe two more movies coming out. I'm pretty sure everybody that's involved with this shit, as far as acting wise, as far as the main cast, don't have to do shit no more. They already, they was probably already wealthy beforehand. Well, most of them were probably already wealthy beforehand. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They was probably already wealthy beforehand. But yeah, keeping that unit together and and all of that, I, I, I kind of like that concept. I kind of like that concept. Now, if it's to the point now, it's to the point now where you ain't got to worry about shit happening to people in the movies, then that kind of detracts for it because anytime somebody get in danger in the movies, you like ah, ain't nothing gonna happen to them. They they part of the main cast, especially if they gonna start bringing people back because like it's just like they already said in this movie the two people that they thought was dead show up and I'm just like, yeah, huh? Showed up. I thought he was dead. And I don't even remember when. Like, where, where the fuck he come from? Just popped up from somewhere. I think I thought you was dead. What the fuck happened? Nah, nah, I ain't dead. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They write that shit off. You keep everybody involved. Like I said, I like the concept, but I mean, if if it get to the, if, well, I mean, get to the point. We already towards the tail end of it. Is At this point, just, it don't just it just it's already past stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's already past stupid, so fuck it. <clears throat> you know it's not the movie ended on a cliffhanger, so you know you got the rock coming back. It's kinda hard not to know that shit because if you got any internet connection, you can have an internet connection to your shoe, you would have known that. You know what I'm saying? The rock coming back and listen. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it is what it is. Rock coming back. Okay. And nothing happened to Dante as far as we know. So he's going to probably be the villain in the next movie. Uh, and it's going to be some... some. I can't predict what's going to fucking happen. But it's going to be a bunch of shit. I hope I, it's, it's gonna be a bunch. <laughs> it is, and I'm gonna fucking watch it, just for the reason I told y'all. I'm gonna go fucking watch it, and I'm not gonna be like about to walk out of it like I was er, uh, during this Fast Ten shit, cause I was about to just throw my hands up, get the fuck up out of there. Like, mm, this is dumb. But like I said, it wasn't until a past character popped up where I was like, oh, let, let me see what's going on here. And that part turned out to be somewhat bearable. So, uh, oops, excuse me. So that's my talk on. Uh, <laughs> that's my talk on goddamn uh, Fast Ten. It's um, it's worth the watch. If you if you've been watching these movies all the way up until now, you are gonna watch them anyway. You're not gonna get all the way up to Fast Ten and be like, fuck this shit. You're not. You're just not. If you done watched all the way up to this point, you're not. I got all the way up to this point, and I didn't really much care for the movies to start with. It's just that I was going to eventually end up seeing them somewhere. You know, whether it's on... I got all the streaming services, so I would have saw the movie at some point. So, anyway. Let me uncross my leg. Ah. ah, man. God damn. Get old, man. <laughs> it's hard to uncross your leg. What goddamn part of aging is that? Well, I will catch y'all on the flip side.